What's up, guys? Welcome to your YouTube channel. So this is our first video. I'm Jimmy. This is my wife, Alexia. And uh, for the first video, we wanted to do a Q and A, basically just to get to know us. So for our first video, we're gonna have a bunch of questions we've asked some people on Instagram, and um, yeah. we'll link our Instagram pages below. But we'll go ahead and get started. Um, some of these videos or questions might be out of order, so we'll probably get some that are kind of same and we'll go over what we can, all right? How do we meet? Yeah. You wanna start? Yeah, so we we met in high school. Um, we've always like known of each other or we knew of each other in high school because he used to be varsity football player and I used to do varsity cheer. Um, so we were always around like the same group of friends, but yeah, we didn't start dating until my senior year of high school. Yeah, so I graduated She's about a year and a half younger than me, but I graduated two classes ahead of her. And I actually went to University of Oregon, went up there for football. And it's kind of funny. I was still in high school. Yeah, so it's kind of funny because my counselor um, during my time, my senior year, was actually her counselor. Yeah, Mr. Pinkerton. Mr. Pinkerton, what's up? Thank you for making this happen. Yeah, and so what happened was I came back. Uh, to junior college after I had spinal surgery and that was my senior year of high school yeah so after I came back he like so um like for your senior awards night you get to choose someone that um like gives you your any scholarships or anything that you received so you have to pick one of your either counselors teachers or somebody in high school um just like that played a big role in your life so Mr. Pinkerton I chose Mr. Pinkerton and it was my senior awards night and um, he asked me, he's like, oh, you know who's back in town? Jimmy. And I'm like, okay, so like, uh, okay, like we're, I don't know, not, we weren't homies back then or anything, so. Yeah, we knew of each other, but we weren't like, we didn't ever hung out or really yeah. talk that much. And then um, my senior awards night, he told me, oh, is it okay if Jimmy texts you? Cause he wants to, he wants to get permission before he can text you. So I was like, okay, sure. Which he never really talked to me about this stuff. No. <laughs> and he kind of told me kind of the same thing. I was like, all right. And then. Yeah. And then, then he texted, well, Jimmy texted me. Yeah. Um, and we were just texting like pretty much throughout the entire afternoon. Yeah. yeah. And then. I we decided know. to. I think you asked me on a date. Oh, cause, cause we texted that night. And then yeah. the next day um, I was in the morning, I was making sushi with my with my family, I think. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I love sushi. We should go to a, on a sushi date. Game. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and that was pretty much our, how he asked me on our first date was, yeah, yeah to go to it a was sushi. was a sushi spot. Mm -hmm. And that place is still open. We go there sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, we went on a sushi date. And then we were there for like three hours. Yeah. So we ordered, I remember we ordered like three rolls. And which I could kill three rolls, like I know. <laughs> so we ordered three rolls and then we stayed there for about almost three hours. And I remember my mom texted me, she had to be a mood killer because <laughs> yeah. she texted me and she was all mad. Um, so she's like, Where are you? It's already been three hours. So, yeah, but yeah, after that, the rest is history. Yeah. And we started talking and seeing each other almost every day after that. Actually, every single day. So it was like I, w I had almost graduated. Um, two weeks after our first date was our my graduation, my high school graduation. And then, yeah, we saw each other literally every single day until I went um, until I went to orientation at UCLA. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, been here ever since. Yep, the old bomb and chain. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, so let's go to the next question. So there's some questions on here I'm not gonna answer because I got some friends that ask some funny stuff. And <laughs> I don't think it's very appropriate to put on here. I know, let's see. You guys know who you are? I know. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Tips for working out as a couple together. All right, so before we get into more questions, kind of like the background of this YouTube channel that we want to do is we get asked by a lot of people to YouTube. Um, and we see how we spot oh, a lot of people. Why did we start? So the question would be why did we start? Oh, why or why did we, start did we YouTube? want to start? That's one of the questions. Okay. So why do we start YouTube? Yeah. Um, I don't know, we do, we like to hang out with a lot of friends. We like to go do stuff, travel, and we post a lot of stuff on our YouTube channel or our Instagrams. And so a lot of people always ask us to start a YouTube channel and we've kind of always wanted to do it, but 
We just never yeah, did. Yeah, um, we follow a lot of people on YouTube. We watch a lot of YouTube, and we just never got around to it. That's literally all I do is watch YouTube. Yeah, so we never really got around to it, but we thought, hey, might as well do it now. Um, kind of we're the, in a good spot in our lives. So. Yeah, we're in a cool spot, and we're enjoying life, so might as well kind of do something with this. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so this is completely new to us, by the way. So we're going to try to pick this up as we kind of go through these videos and hopefully they continue getting better. But I don't kind of like the thing we want to do with our YouTube channel is kind of... Just our life together. Our life together. Married life. Kind of like the way we move up, the way we're, you know, we motivate each other, kind of do better and everything. And kind of what we do to our home, new homes. Um, she's all in a house renovation, so she has DIY, so you guys will see all that. Um, fitness is a big part of our life since we've been together with athletics yeah. and working out. So we'll include that kind of stuff in it. And uh, we actually started traveling a lot more. So we'll include travel in there, kind of our little trips. We got some stuff coming up as well. So that's kind of the basis why we want to start YouTube. Yeah. When did you know you loved me? Oh, we're going there. All right. And who said I love you first? That was me, obviously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, pretty quick. I don't know, like, I don't, when, when we started dating, it was kind of like we clicked right away. Just because I think we have kind of similar personalities. Something's different, something's similar, but just we'll mesh together well. Right. Um, I don't know, she's like super motivating. She, uh, just kind of the way she grew up and then kind of how she's self-motivated. So that was like a big thing for me. And then she is like the biggest heart, so... Kind of took that real quick. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Look at you over there. <laughs> so it was pretty quick. Yeah. I think I knew I loved you like, I don't know, probably three months into dating. Mm -hmm. But we, I didn't say I love you to him until about six months in. Um, I don't even know if I should tell him the story. We can save that one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll save that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I told him I love you first. And that was about six months into our relationship. Um, and then after like seven, no, it was like seven or eight months of us dating, um, he found out that he was going to go to, um, that he had a full ride scholarship to the University of Texas at El Paso for football. So, and that was, I was ending my, for my freshman year of college at UCLA. It was like 2013, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but you found out, I think it was at the end of 2013, or was it? Yeah, it was somewhere around there. Um, so when I came back, I was, we got together, and I was at a junior college playing. She got into UCLA, so yeah. she was finishing her first year of freshman year, and then I got scholarship out to El Paso, Texas. And mm -hmm. that's where I went up there, and she was still at UCLA. Yeah, because you went, like, in the beginning of 2014. Yeah. And so we were doing a long distance thing for a little bit. For like which, six months? Yeah, which we, always, Seven months. Which we made work because we were flying back and forth all the time. I but, think um, one, at least once a, once a month. Yeah. We probably flew out. Yeah, but it was funny because we were on the phone one time. And I remember I was at like the academic center at UTEP <laughs> or something. And we're on the phone. And she's like, maybe I should just transfer out there. And I was like, for real? Like, you'd be down for that? And then I thought she's at UCLA. She's like partially on a scholarship out there. And but in my head it does it didn't sound as crazy as it thought as i thought because um my parents lived in nevada so my mom and my um dad moved to nevada and my little brother was out there so i didn't really have anyone at ucla and or in california just like my um like outside family like aunts and uncles and i was like well i don't have my family and now i don't have my boyfriend here so i might as well just move out there and see <clears throat> and at least i could be out there with him so um yeah i brought it up to him because i think i was like leaving the dorm going to because i used to work at the ucla gym and i was like i might as well just bring it up and then we were on the phone i told him and yeah it didn't sound that crazy but yeah and then maybe a month or two later no because this was like it was, was it yeah it was fast because then she applied Oh, yeah, I applied. Obviously, like, got accepted because you go to UCLA. <laughs> um, go Ducks. But she goes to UCLA. Go <laughs> but she actually got, 
Okay, yeah, we'll eat that. That's right. And then so she actually got accepted pretty quick. Um, mm -hmm. And then I had moved into an apartment with one of my teammates. And she actually... So moved. I moved out. Or I moved in with you. Yeah. Like so a, we started living together after like less, a year of It was dating. less than a year. Yeah. It was less than a year. And we moved in together up there in El Paso. Yeah. But... We didn't have anybody know. out there. I mean, he had family in New Mexico. Yeah. Um, but we got kind of close with out there. But yeah, but we was... didn't have anybody else aside from each other, and we just decided to go. But I mean, when we were together and we were both in California, we were together all the time. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like weird for us to live together, really. No. Like we yeah. kind of made it happen real, like pretty easy, and it yeah. worked out. I don't know. We never had any issues. No. It was good. Oh, we, then, had, we had a lot of good times. So we. It was one year in, so we had like three different roommates, like three different teammates, uh, teammates. from like UTEP that we, yeah, part that, of the apartment mm -hmm, that we moved in with. And then, um, after the first year of me being at UTEP, um, I got a scholarship for academics. So, yeah. cause I remember there was a point where I thought I had to move back because I was out of state. I was getting charged the out of state tuition and I didn't have, I wasn't on scholarship and, um, I was just like freaking out because money wise my dad like paid my first year and he was like well i don't know if i could keep doing it so we like freaked out and then, and then what was the program you applied to i applied to the um utep building scholars program so it's full academic as long as you do research um within like your undergrad years they um pay, they pretty much just pay for like your entire tuition plus you get a stipend on top of that yes so she so first of all, she's a smart one in yeah. the relationship. She does everything. I'm, I'm just the brains of the operation. I'm the bronze. Well, she's the bronze <laughs> too, but that's all I got. Um, but I don't know. It was kind of cool because we were both on scholarships out there. So we both weren't paying for school and we were getting... Money to go to school. So yeah, it was like, so that we pays for like our lucky. rent, our food, cups of noodles. Oh my cool. goodness. Yeah. We ate a lot of cups of noodles. No, we ate a lot of Jack in the Box tacos. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, I can't eat them no more. I know. Yeah, I can't believe that. Yeah, that was, those were our first years of our relationship. Yeah, so he ended up graduating. We should just tell the story of All our right, life. All right, we're going to the whole story already, so you guys are going to know everything <sighs> about us right now. Um, and then, so we moved, he moved um, back because um, he had just graduated. Um, this was like, what, three years after or two years after moving there, moving to El Paso? Yeah, like two and a half years. Yeah. Almost three, almost three years. And I still had um, one more full year to go. Yeah. And after I graduated, I went through the whole process. Um, NFL stuff didn't work out for me. And so I, I was kind of like, honestly, I was like a low point. Like I was working at GNC. Yeah. I didn't know what I, what I wanted to do because basically my scholarship was in football and I thought I would be playing NFL. And when I wasn't, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So. I went actually, through a lot of processes. <laughs> yeah, I went through a lot of things trying to figure out my way what I wanted to do, whether that was something to do in fitness or something, some normal job, and I definitely didn't want to do that. So she was still doing her thing with school. She was yeah. doing internships in Dallas. Um, so I just started applying to different things in California as far as like law enforcement goes. Um, well, yeah, because you applied for, so first he was going to go into the um, yeah. armed forces and well we got some hiccups in that yeah. and it was taking way too long and got denied with some stuff and so ended up playing some different places out in california to be law enforcement um i had friends that pushed me to do it so and i started looking more into it and i said okay it sounds like something i would want to do um definitely some challenging something that you could kind of be proud to do so i I got hired with one department and been with them and she was out in El Paso. Yeah. So I, I lived in El Paso for like an entire year. Almost an entire year. We had to go through long distance again. Yeah. And so, I mean, that was rough. Um, I was going through the academy and I was super busy and then she was doing her school stuff. So I mean, we still flew back and forth a lot. Mm -hmm. So we went yeah. through that stuff. That was pretty hard though going from living with each other for a while and then yeah being and nothing yeah that was weird so there's a lot of facetime calls and stuff like that and missing things here and there but yeah. then i finally graduated in 2018 um and then i moved back up to california yeah and so, yeah we've been living 
then um, we were living with his parents for like four months, five months. A little bit longer. It was like Yeah, I kind of just get like almost. to get our feet on the ground. So my parents had to let yeah, us stay with them for a little bit, which was cool. Mm -hmm. um, but we got situated and everything. And, then, and you, that was like right when you finished the academy or were you already done with the academy? I just finished not too long before that. So I was started with, with my job. Uh, she came out. She started getting like some jobs here and there. Mm -hmm. And we kind of just were able to put kind of everything together though again real quick. And then in 2019, starting, mm -hmm. we bought our first yeah, house. Yeah, we put in, so um, December of 2018, we put in our bid for this house. Yeah. And um, we got approved and everything and closed escrow in January. So we, we got the keys to this house January 11th. And then, well, January 6th, you proposed. I did. <laughs> Wait, this you was know, 18. No, 2018 I proposed. Yeah, January of 2018 you proposed. Yeah. Before I graduated. So. Yeah, so that's that's a whole funny that's story. That's another story. <laughs> that's a, I'll tell um, that one later. And then, yeah, in 2019 we got the house. And then we got married in Vegas um, in January, or er, um, August 10th of 2019, which is also our dating anniversary. Our dating anniversary is... August um, 10th of 2013. Yeah. So we got married on our six year dating anniversary, yeah. which is a month, almost a month, less than a month from away from today. Yeah, so we're almost at a year married. Mm -hmm. Dang, girl. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're almost to that point for a year for that. and Seven years together. Yeah. How and long have we been together? Almost seven years. Yeah. Technically, seven. If if you think about it, we're probably t we've been together for seven years and a f in a few, a few months, months now. When we started dating, that, that first sushi date that was like that in was May. It, that so. was pretty much it. I yeah, think. and that's when we basically got together, but it was like official. But he didn't say, you know, he didn't ask me to be his girlfriend until like three months after. Yeah, I mean there was like a, there was like a probationary period she had to go through. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she passed. Um, um, but yeah, so we've been together for a lot for a long time. Almost yeah. a year married, and when we bought this house, it did not look like this. I know you can't even see yeah, it. Yeah, you can see our Instagram, so you can see her page. She has two pages. She has her DIY page, so you can yeah. see the how what it used to look like and what it looks like now. Yeah, which is all her. Who liked who first? Kind of at the same time. Who liked yeah. who first? It was like oh, we I think it was right. mutual. Yeah, we both we liked each. I mean, right I don't now. think we would have stayed in our first date for three hours if we didn't like each other somewhat. Yeah. Um, how, how many, many kids, kids do you, you want? want? I want three boys. I want, I want three kids. You want three boys? I want three boys. I want all boys. I feel like if we have a girl, she's going to be sassy like me. And I... <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I think for me, it'd be... Perfect world, obviously, would be like two boys and a girl last. So, like, the boys are like the protectors, kind of, you know what I mean? But, mm -hmm. I don't know. Whatever we have, obviously, would be awesome. Amazing to have kids. Yeah. But Anything at this point, I'm like... <laughs> what are your guys' pet peeves with each other? Mm. Oh, here we go. I hate, hate. That's a strong <laughs> every time, every Friday is our trash can day. And I hate taking out the big old trash cans to put them on the side of the street. That's like my biggest pet peeve of all time. That's like literally my only pet peeve is that I have to remind you every Friday to take him out. And every Friday he seems to forget, so guess who has to Not take out the Friday. trash can? Almost every, every other, th almost every other Friday. This past Friday, who took him out? Yeah, well, I leave at like four in the morning to work. So well, sometimes can, sometimes there, I forget. He could clearly I'll, take them I'll out admit. on Thursday night. Sometimes I forget. We're starting a debate here. <laughs> I know. All right, so yeah, I do forget sometimes. Okay, now you can go. That's oh, pretty much it. Yeah, where do I start? I'm just <laughs> kidding, no. I don't know. It's hard to think of some. Like, I thought you were going to take it easy on me, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she leaves hair everywhere. That's not my fault. Hair all the time. I know. Everywhere there's hair. I'll walk, like, barefooted. And I'll You're supposed to foot. shed, like, 100 hairs a day or something like that. I don't know, but hair is everywhere. I know. Um, I can't think of much right now. Oh, there's another question. What if one thing um, that we could change about each other? What would it be? 
<laughs> you can go first on this one. I don't know. It's a hard question. I would change that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I thought about this one, though. I was like, if there's one thing that I could, that I would change and that I would want to change is that he would learn Spanish because he doesn't know Spanish. My whole, every time that we're at my family or my parents' house, um, I always have to translate back and forth. So it's hard to be like in the conversation, but also translating the conversation at the same time. So she does translate for me all the time. That's like one thing I would change. Mm -hmm. I picked it up as far as like, I can understand a lot of stuff that your family says and that you say, but speaking it, absolutely not. not I, know. I just know the bad words. I know. And he knows his nickname. So my family calls him Canelo um, because of the Canelo Alvarez. I swear, Alvarez. For the first three years at least, <laughs> even to this day, some of them, they didn't even know my name. They just no. called me Canelo. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was funny though. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Just depends on what things we're talking. We're like what, what we're technically talking about. I don't know. I mean, we're kind of like both like evenly involved, and I mean, we're both like on our hustle all the time. We both do our stuff. She does a lot of like house projects. She flips a lot of things. I'm always at work a lot, but I don't know. We're kind of like even in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Is that safe to say? Yeah. You want to go off right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Somebody asked who's the stronger person. You, obviously, but I do try to outlift him sometimes. She well, likes like body to or you, weight you, get, to, you guys will see some lifting videos she's pretty crazy strong weight to she's a little lift twice ball of thunder yeah no no she's actually super strong do that nowhere but i can't even keep up because he can squat like 500 pounds but she can squat like 225 pounds that's a lot for a girl yeah but you squat so. you, you you lift more than a lot of guys at the gym we go to sometimes Oh, we're not answering that damn thing. Were either of you in the military? No, unfortunately we weren't in the military. No, my stepdad though, he's um, an army vet. So. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Um, do you train in firearm proficiency as well as staying physically fit? Yeah, um, fitness has been a big part of our life. Um, yeah. You know, we, we do a whole thing, we meal prep all the time. We I think clean. when we first started dating too, you were a trainer at one of the gyms. Yeah, so I was going mm -hmm. playing at junior college. Um, I also work as a personal trainer for a gym out in California and was all into that. I mean, it was kind of an easy, easy way for me to make money while I was playing football and kind of fit it into the schedule of training and stuff like that. Cause I actually work out at work, which was cool. But I don't know, it's always been a part of our life. So we're always working out all the time, multiple times a week. Um, firearms, obviously a big part of a career I'm in, so I, I shoot quite a bit and do a lot of training with it, and I got her into it, so she yeah. can actually piece apart. I'm not that, I'm not as good though. Yeah, but, but she could pull apart a gun. because I'm blind. So. She can still pull apart a gun, clean it, she goes shooting with me sometimes. Yeah. So, she's getting into it, she likes it. Um, things you learned about meal prep. So... Things I want to learn about meal prep, it's kind of like trial and error, to be honest. You got to find things you like. Um, if it takes too long to meal prep, and the longer you go, as you go through with it, you're going to get kind of like lazy with it. Yeah. And be like, well, I don't got enough time to do it, so we're not going to do this. Or if you make foods you don't really like, you're not going to stay on point with it. So you got to find something that easy to make, that you like, that's clean. Um, honestly, I keep the same thing every day. And um, I can't. I yeah. It. So... Oh, uh, well, we got it down now to where yeah. we can knock a meal prep out in like an hour. And what's our What's your current um, current meal prep situation like? So I'm pretty basic. So I can honestly do my normal meal prep. So like in the morning, we always make breakfast. Well, like something with like eggs. Go through a lot of eggs. So eggs, like some type of carb, or like oatmeal. oatmeal, some toast, type of like wheat bread or something. Waffles, because he likes buttermilk sometimes. waffles. I like buttermilk waffles. Um, but my meal preps are usually for when I'm at work, something easy on the go I could eat real quick. Um, so so it's usually, always rice. It's always rice, some type of veggie, which I usually barbecue my veggies on some skewers, like some green, yellow peppers, uh, mushrooms, onion, onion. Um, asparagus. I usually just mix them all up. And then, <laughs> what? Did I say it wrong? 
Asper <laughs> as asparagus. You're um, like asparagus. It's asparagus. Um, There's no H in there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, she's a smart one, like you said. Um, and I also make chicken. So I'll just barbecue. I got tired of chicken breasts. So I started just doing chicken thighs all the time. Just trim mm -hmm. the fat off a little bit and barbecue those. We cook. They cook really easy. And you, sometimes I'll put like either like um, ground beef or ground turkey for like another meal. So I'll usually eat like two or three of those throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And then the last meal, we always have dinner together. So we usually mm -hmm. make something for dinner. Try to keep it clean. But right now, we're kind of like in training mode. I have a competition coming up. Next so, weekend. Yeah, so you guys will see a video for that. But basically, um, during the week, we try to have like one like cleaner cheat meal. Something like biology last night yeah yeah that last night um chipotle something like that yeah. something like that's like not too bad i guess but then we'll pick one day on the weekend that we just like go all out yeah. pizza burgers snacks ice cream candy chips we get nasty mm. sounds pretty good i know yeah popeye's chicken sandwich Oh man, that sounds good. But at the you end know, of the day, find something that's super easy for you to make, that's clean, yeah. something you're to keep with. You can always change it up as you go. But the biggest thing with meal prep is consistency. So just doing a couple of meal preps isn't gonna do much. You gotta stay with it, and then you'll see everything go from there. How much can you? How much do you weigh? And can you post your workouts on video? I think those are. I'll post your workout questions. videos. Um, currently I weigh like two twenty five right now. Mm -hmm. Which is like a comfortable weight for me, something I can still like run long distance. That's like probably more like in shape weight. Um, if I like try to get bigger, I'd probably get like 235 is like my like, I feel like my strong weight, but 225 is like all overall I feel comfortable at. That's where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. And what was the other part of it? Oh, workout videos. Yeah, so if you guys follow my Instagram, I'm gonna start posting more workout videos on there. Um, we'll link it below and also we'll. Throw in some fitness stuff here, here and there. You can see like us working out together, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Tips for working out as a couple together? Yeah. Um, it's funny because we, we do CrossFit together. Yeah. So, so before what we used to do when I was playing, we we're in El Paso mm -hmm. or before that, we do, obviously I have to do like my training outside with like football or whatever with my team, but we'd always work out almost every day together still. And we do more like bodybuilding style of workouts. So we do like a lot of like your traditional like leg day, chest day, yeah. everything like he that. He does all that. I don't do any of that. Well, she did a lot of that stuff with me. Well, now I don't do none of that. Well, now, I mean, I don't really do much of that except like some accessory stuff. Yeah. But now we've gotten more into like CrossFit just because I'm not playing football no more. Um, I honestly got kind of tired of like the bodybuilding style of workouts because I got bored with it. So CrossFit kind of like feels like athletic again. You know what I mean? Like where else can you like... Work out. We learned how to do like gymnastic type stuff. We Olympic were, lifting, which yeah, is my favorite. Yeah, we, we had a good background on Olympic lifting, so that kind of transferred over well. Um, it includes like your cardio stuff, running, um, the salt bike, skier, rower. Um, we we could walk on our hands. We never were able to do that Dance before, walks, so yeah. we can do that. Um, I don't know. It was kind of cool. Whole new training style, and now. She's done, she's competed in CrossFit before. I've only done one competition and I hated it. Well, I've only done one before too, but. It was I'm, so hard. Yeah, but. Because <laughs> I think when you're in competition mode, it's a lot harder than when you're just working out. Because when you're working out, you're just like, I don't know, kind of cruising and mm -hmm. you're not like pushing yourself to the limit. But in like the CrossFit competitions, I like yeah. threw up after the first event. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's fun though, cause like a lot of big crowd shows up and it's like super high emotions. And I always love like the competition atmosphere, just playing football and like the different emotions or um, kind of like the, how you say it? What's like the word for it? Like the, what, the feeling you get when you're like super pumped up, adrenaline rush, you get I was like- I say euphoria? No. <laughs> 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 no like the adrenaline rush you get like yeah. uh, as far as that so I got another one coming up next weekend so we'll get some clips of that make a video of it it'd be cool mm -hmm. and how do y'all do these demanding workouts after long hours of work so I work for 10 hour shifts and then he works um, 3 on 3 off 4 on 4 off 12 hour shifts mm -hmm. um, I do a lot of overtime 
threw my days off sometimes. Yeah, so, shift, so. Um, usually we, so like basically our day starts from, well, my, my work day starts from like seven to five thirty. That's usually my shift. And, and then, then his, I is, go from technically I go from seven to seven, um, sometimes longer, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but I usually get there quite a bit early before work because I have to do a lot of stuff for work before, mm -hmm. um, but by the time I'm out, usually I drive straight to the gym and she meets me there. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so I go home from work and then um, like around 7.15ish, we go work out together. Um, our CrossFit class starts at 8 p.m. now, so that's usually the time that we're working out is at 8. Yeah, and so then, sometimes we'll do a little stuff before, a little accessory stuff, like, like bodybuilding type stuff in before. Like stretch. Stretch. Cardio. Pre-workout. Yeah. And then... We'll do our class, finish up around 9, 9, 10, and then come home, eat dinner, and yeah, do we all. eat dinner late. Yeah. Really. And then we do it all over again the next day. What's life like being married to a law enforcement officer? Um, it's stressful, like, it's stressful. We've had a couple mm. of stressful nights or days. Yeah. It's just because <laughs> I'm a big crybaby, so it's hard for me to, like, keep my emotion um, especially when I, when, you know, his life is on the line or anything like that. Like, it's just, I can't keep my cool like that. I don't know if anybody, if anybody else does, you know, but, um, I'm just not good at showing or being composed when things like that happen. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's definitely difficult. I don't think, um, I wouldn't, like, I don't think I would be able to do it if I didn't have a strong um, support system, especially like befriending a lot of the um, other um, law enforcement wives. We all kind of go through the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, so. Yeah, I try to reassure all the time that I'm all right. I know, and it's so stressful. Do you guys see yourselves getting a home outside of California in the future? And if so, where? I told him like one of our marriage conditions was, okay, we could go ahead and live our good years in California because he's a California boy. He wants to stay here forever. But I told him, okay, we're gonna live in California for our good years, but we have to retire in Texas. That's like the main condition of our marriage. I told I'm him, not gonna lie, Texas is freaking awesome. If people haven't been there, if you guys haven't been there, go visit, that's cool. And we like Texas. Dallas a lot. Mm -hmm. So maybe we retire, we'll go. Still have a place in California to come back to. I know. We could have a, like, beach home if we, you know. Yeah, that'd be goals. Want to, but. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm cool with retiring yeah. in Dallas. That'd be cool. It's a cool place. Yeah. Hardest part about a law enforcement academy? Yeah. Um, it depends. There's a lot of different academies out there. Um, if you go to one that's, like, a stress academy, definitely going to be stressed out for six months. Uh, but I just that's all it's all for a purpose yeah. so biggest thing just staying positive throughout the whole thing um, working work, work your ass off the whole time um, harsh part obviously is if you have wife kids probably I saw a lot of, a lot of people that go, went through that kind of stuff um, but I don't know just make sure you're mentally prepared for it mentally physically as long as you put in the work before you'll you'll be all right what tips can you give for a couple where one is going into law enforcement? Um, just be prepared for like long hours or yeah, lot. I mean, you you honestly never know. Yeah, like, like I mean, luckily right now our our schedules are pretty good, so like they um go hand in hand with one of with one another. Like normally, um, when I'm at work, when he's at work, so we get home or we get the same amount of time off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, but there's some days where like what well, we have plans to do something and something happens at work and I don't get off in time or I'm not going to be there. So yeah. that's kind of something you got to be prepared for. Um, luckily, she's kind of like, you know, you, she understands that and mm -hmm. it's part of the job sometimes and sometimes yeah. it sucks, but sometimes, you know, you have to do what you have to do. And yeah. so that's kind of something that sucks. I think just kind of be supportive of each other. Yeah. Um, understanding that you're not always going to get out on time or you're not always going to get the shifts you want or sometimes you might end up working opposite shifts yeah but because at, at the beginning you were we, he was i think you were grave shifts no 
it was something. I was on weekends or something. Yeah. She had weekends off, and it may have sucked, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's not that shift's not gonna be forever. It's, yeah. It's just for a little short time period, but I mean, it's gonna happen throughout the career. But. I think communication too, though, is like the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, especially when, you know, you're one or one is going into law enforcement. I think you have to communicate about everything. Like, just make sure that you're always, um, like. For example, for him, he always texts me that he's safe or he'll always text me, you know, it's going to be a while because we're here. Um, yeah. I think whatever the event is. or Yeah. Yeah, man. Why do you look so cute over there? <laughs> <laughs> How often do you guys make out? <laughs> Jeez, man. How do you overcome long, stressful hours and find energy to do more? So it probably means, like, workouts and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, honestly, that's kind of like... The time period to like forget about everything when we work out you know um obviously i like to stay like we like to stay physically fit and do competitions and this kind of stuff but this has been a big part of our lives my life for since i was a kid so it's kind of like my time to like release the stress after work and kind of forget everything that went that happened that day yeah so oh uh, but it's also something that we enjoy we've been doing it for so long that I don't know, it's kind of like just part of our life that routine I would like to do. Yeah, I think it's still. just like routine at this point. Yeah. Plus, when you work out, you release endorphins, so. <laughs> oh, and something I was going to mention about the thing, I just remember now, the whole uh -huh. law enforcement thing. Uh -huh. um, I think a big part, if I had to give any advice for people where one is in law enforcement or both are, um, is not letting it, like, consume your life. So, a lot of times we'll work together outside of work on our days off, like, Try not to bring it up like we just yeah. we like to enjoy our life like i mean sure not, yeah like at the out. end of the like for example at the end of the day i always ask him like how his day was so then he can debrief me on yeah you know, like, but like on our days how his day was yeah and our days off it's like we like to just enjoy our life together like obviously yeah. career isn't you it just kind of like you know it's your job yeah. but at the end of the day we just enjoy life together and just kind of like take a break from all the stressful stuff in our life for yeah. a little bit and just enjoy each other. Okay, that one. How important are macros? Mm -hmm. Honestly, never counted a damn macro in my life. We um, just like to eat. And we, we enjoy food a lot. But as far as like eating to stay fit, healthy, um, been doing it for quite a long time now. So I can like tell how much food I need to eat. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a hard question. Um, I don't count calories um honestly just eating clean as much as you can enjoy your food still I'm not saying you have to eat clean 24 7 um I'm not saying you have to count every calorie or macro but as long as you're eating like a good start point for somebody is eat clean still enjoy enjoy life you're gonna go out eat enjoy new foods but as long as you're working out hard you're eating clean you eat portionate foods um you're not overeating and stuff like that you're you're in the right step obviously if we're doing like bodybuilding shows and stuff like that then i understand the whole counting macros calories stuff like that but if you're somebody just trying to make simple steps that's probably where i would start what was your first impression of me the like, god damn no, I'm just <laughs> no I'm just oh you're just like a super cool person um obviously she's gorgeous but just kind of after talking you see like how motivated she is and kind of everything you've been through and mm. how just self-motivated for more like you always want to work hard and you want to yeah. like have goals and everything like that like that was mm -hmm. pretty awesome my first impression of you i don't know he was like so big back in high school so <laughs> so i was like i guess a little bit intimidated um i remember telling him though that i was super happy that he wasn't like masculine and big and had like a tiny squeaky voice not not, not that there's anything wrong with that but <sighs> yes that was enough i thought he was gonna he was gonna have like a squeaky voice or something but um i don't know i just think your mom raised you right too because even when we first started dating he's always sent for seven for the last seven years he's literally opened my door every single time like Every single time. Even now, Fellas. married, he still opens the door for me every single time I get in the car. So that's, you know. What is something I'm not good at? I 
Man, these are the hard questions I have to like think about for a little bit. I know. Something you're not good at? Probably losing a beer pong. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate losing. I hate losing at beer pong. We're competitive people. No, but like, okay, if you I'm beat not. Her, if you beat her at any game. Drinking wise. Or some of that, like, you better be ready for like the wrath of something. Like, I'm just. That's all yeah. I gotta say about that. Um, where was your first road trip? Back to El Paso. Forth, back and no. forth from El Paso, California. Yeah. You know, like you're from California to El Paso, like it's pretty crazy. So like, it's like eight hours, I no. think. Oh wait, no, it was, it was like eleven hours. Eleven hours if you're driving. Mm -hmm. and At then, least eleven hours. Yeah. And you drive through California, Arizona to New Mexico, right into Texas. Mm -hmm. So. That was our first road trip, actually. Yeah, right. Cause then, but we also did road trip to my parents' house or to my parents in Nevada, which was like eight hours from yeah. here. Yeah, we did that as well. Nicknames for each other. I always call them either Papa or Bubba. That's pretty much it. I call them old ball and chain. I hate that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I hate that. Favorite restaurant? Favorite yeah. restaurant. When we get into food, we love food. We just like sushi and Mexican like, food. We love Mexican food. She I makes like great Mexican food. But we uh, we enjoy like anything like as far as like seafood wise. Like sushi. sushi's bomb, pokey. Um, we went out to Hawaii. We had like legit pokey. for our honeymoon. Yeah, oh, that had... should have been one of the questions. Where did you guys go well, on your honeymoon? We'll create a question. <laughs> uh, honeymoon wise, we went to we went straight from Vegas, drove home for like a few hours, and drove to LAX. Yeah, and went to flew out to Hawaii. Yeah, we went to um, Honolulu. Wow. Yeah, Oahu. Wow. Wow. But we stayed in Honolulu. Yeah, but. Yeah, we gotta enjoy some like legit that was the pokey best. they cut had yeah, a fish right there. Like literally it was And then the fish, like it's so different. It just tastes like butter. It's so good. It's just like real. So anything like that. We went to Seattle. We had legit seafood out there too. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. When did um we meet each other's family? I think you met my it was at my uncle at my uncle's party. Oh yeah. And my uncle Javier, um, they were having, I don't know if it was like a birthday party or it must have been his grad, my cousin's graduation party, because it was like around the time of graduation. Yeah. I met you met my one. yeah my mom and my brother. Yeah. What you mean like that? I don't know. I remember I went over to your house um, one time, and yeah. then your mom was there, but I don't know if I met your dad there. Oh, it, it was probably, I think I met your family the 4th of, that 4th of July. Oh yeah, we did. We mm -hmm. went to the mountains out here in California and she met a bunch of my family. Yeah. Favorite feature about each other? Mm. I don't know, I just oh, love everything about you. Oh, look how cute you are, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a hard one. You can't really like piece it to one I just thing. think like, for me, I'm like good with auras. So I just think like he just has the most positive, perfect aura ever. Like he's just like a good soul yes. in person. So I think that's my favorite part about you is just how genuine you are and how like beautiful he is outside um, and inside too. You're the cutest. I don't know, just like a good, good soul. Yeah, I, mean, I love you. I love you. That's how she is though. She's like a super passionate. Emo she's the emotional one out of us I for am. sure. I cry like, all the time. But she's like super caring. Like, yeah. If she watches a YouTube video or a Facebook post, Instagram post that has like a cute old person in it or <laughs> something baby. like a baby, like she'll start Every caring time. Up Every automatically. Time. What do we argue about the most? Apparently, house chores. <laughs> That's all we do. I know. Um, oh, honestly, we don't really again. fight that much. Mm -mm. We've never really fought that much about anything. Mm -mm. No. I should give you a silent treatment and she just <laughs> comes right back to me. No. <laughs> I don't know what we fight about. Do I have any weird obsessions? Mm. Going to the gym, like, if he doesn't go to the gym at least five times out of the week, he feels like his De world's ending. Deteriorating. I know. That's like his weird habit. I could go all all the time without the gym. Julie, your weird obsession. I don't know. 
cleaning. Cleaning. Every, yeah, like since we got the house, she has to get everything like the the cleaning supplies. Like I'm not dumb. I'm not complaining, honestly. <laughs> but like as far as like the cleaning stuff, like we walk somewhere, she goes to the cleaning section. Oh, you see this? Smell this? Smell this? Mm-hmm. I mean, I just I don't know. It's mostly like in the kitchen. Like I just have to have everything. Yeah, or in she has place. to buy like new decorations for everything. Yeah, like, she's obsessed with like DIY yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Complete the sentence. You're my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, sing it. Sing, sing it. it. <laughs> we'll show a little clip or something. But you're my. <laughs> the love of my life. <laughs> you're my soulmate. You too, bud. You ass. It's Matt. Is it? Yeah. So <laughs> we have this thing where um, if I'm wearing lipstick, he always asks, is it Matt? So then he knows that it's not going to transfer over. Yeah, because it don't blow It's not make. that Matt, but it's Matt now. You're good? Mm-hmm. All right. So I think that's probably all the questions we got for right now, yeah. guys. Um, we just want to do a cool little video so you guys kind of get to know us. us. Yeah, introduce us. Um, like I said, we're going to try to post maybe a video a week. I'm not we're going to try. Not, yeah, I'm not going to put like exact time date on anything. But um, we're going to try to. Um, you'll be seeing a lot of stuff, like I said, our life, house stuff. Traveling, fitness stuff. Um, actually, next week we're DIYs. Doing, yeah, next week we have a competition too, so we'll post that, and you guys will take you guys along with us for everything. Yeah. So, hope you guys. Thank en- you for watching. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if feels, you like, it's weird saying this. Like, like you watch everybody say. I know. Too. Wait, what is it? Like, um, subscribe, and don't forget to. What? Oh, share it. Wait, it's like like sub- like subscribe and hit that notification bell. Oh. <laughs> Dang, I'm a pro. I know, all it's because right. I'm on YouTube But yeah, all the but time. like I said, guys, we're just starting. So um, obviously, hopefully these videos all get better as we kind of go on. It's going to be kind of basic as far as like all the fancy stuff. But do us a favor if you guys can. Um, share it. Hopefully some people follow us. Subscribe if you can. Comment, like, whatever it takes. All right? So yeah. thanks, guys, for Thank watching. Thank you for watching. Um, this is us from Musgraves. Yeah. Cool. All right, y'all.